Don't ask me till rankings chart day is all Judge Isegahama will say of the minor details of this messy exercise, but the first confirmations are known. Kin Bozan will rise to Division 2 and bring a Kazakh presence to salaried sumo. His five tournaments since graduating uni have brought 30 wins from 35 bouts and two titles. Division 4 last November, Division 3 this March. But he won't be swayed by the sky-high hopes of others. Right now, I'm just happy to have risen while avoiding injury in the way my master advised, he said. I hope Sumo's Kazakh fanbase will grow, clearly. But I won't set any final goals just yet. Let's do Division 2, and if I reach Division 1, then we'll think about that. Kise Stable, as you know, is adept at converting graduate talent into salaried talent, but struggles to produce top rankers. Kimborzan's aim should surely be to buck that trend. Also rising, as you learned last weekend, is Yota Kanno of Kasugano Stable, set to fill shoes soon to be vacated by his oldest colleagues. Like Kimborzan, he debuted in Division 4, but took longer to rise losing his first pro bout to Chuo Uni teammate Nishikawa, now Go no Yama, a rivalry we can't wait to see resume. Higher status brings a name change, a proper ring name of Tochi Musashi. I'm from Saitama, the erstwhile province of Musashi, hence the choice, he revealed. I'm delighted to be up, but bracing myself for harder training so as to get yet stronger. My goal is to be the first in my university year to make Division 1. Gonoyama, watch out! Coach Kasugano has rightly urged him to boost his tachiai and grip from the front, rather than seek cheap wins by sidestep, which he's relied on too much. The next Tohakuryu he must not become. The third happy riser today is Takakento, who posted 4 and 3 on Division 3's top rung. Which means, though it's not yet official, three men must go down. Ishiura, ruled out through cervical spinal trouble, is one. Yago and his troublesome knees is the second. Virus Hit or Shoma, we assume, will keep rank. Chiyo Sakae, having outdone all predictions, stays up. Hokuseho, with 11 wins, will pogo stick jump. 8-win Kitanowaka will not fall. 6-win Tochimaru almost dropped, but sorry, channel viewers, on the same rung with just the 5 wins, is Kaisei with his crippled ankle. For the first time since 2010, he will face Division 3. If he's on tour next week, I will try to approach and gauge intentions. He will likely be guarded, and I'd well understand, ahead of such a huge decision. Confirmed retired for now are Shohozan, as we know, and one of Sumo's over 40s, Go Rikiyama, who, after seven straight July defeats, called time on his 28-year career. The 43-year-old from Takadagawa Stable had fought 169 tournaments. That was his last ever match. As for Mitake Umi's status, as I told you mid-meet, the press have been briefed he will keep Ozeki. Judge Isegahama today declined to confirm that, but cryptically added, Until now, we've basically left the ranks of virus victims as they are, and that principle won't change. Because, I guess, in old Japan, openly scrapping rules decided by wise old men is considered heretic.
Just a final word in general on the reaction to the highest number of pullouts post-World War II. As you can imagine, it has not been good. Fans frequently groaned in the arena, and even the sports tabloids, who double as sumo mouthpieces, broke ranks to speak out. Sankei Sports blasted Covid rules which are two years out of date. Nikan Sports said that close contacts testing negative should have kept on fighting. Sumo will, we understand, quietly admit it was wrong and relax rules on close contacts competing by September. But no Covid bubbles will be made because then wise old men couldn't have their way. Spare a thought then for the victims of their stubbornness. Tamawashi and Nishikigi, who did not have Covid, but were forced to give up their perfect attendance records of 18 and 16 years. The fact Sumo says those defaults will be discounted doesn't ease the pain. And Shoketsu, Sumo's oldest man, who as Covid close contact was obliged to default for the only time in 27 years. Here's the historic moment. From which Sumo must learn. We can't let the web of the future pretend that this didn't happen.